Stephanie Elden. We're just outside Port Down, County Armagh, Northern Ireland. We have a 200 cow herd calf all year round. Previous calf house had been built when there was only 100 cows. We got to a point of 200 cows. It was under one roof. There was single calf pens on one side and cubicles at the other side. We then got an automatic feeder and took out the cubicles. Had straw at the back and space at the front, hard floor at the front. But the 200 cows, the house was getting pushed. We looked at lack of airflow. We started taking out the divides between the pens. That helped. We did go and look at calf houses. We did sort of pinch the design. We liked a lot of it of his setup. I had my own experience. We just married the two. We sat with a whiteboard every morning after breakfast and just drew out every aspect. We built the house. My was no drips, plenty of light. So we got the fibre cement roof. The passageway is raised. Not quite enough is what I would have liked, but it is raised to try and keep the straw in the pens. When it was built, it was built thinking we'd use natural ventilation. We did have a problem then with still days. The fan and the tube was installed then to try and combat that. It did, but then the winter time, it has created a few wee issues because we think we're getting wind chill. So then we have installed flaps to try and cut down the high winds when they come so it, we're, we can try and control it a little bit more. It's still a work in progress. I like that they're in pens of six. I like them in the groups. It suits our cabin pattern. We worked out that we could get a nice even group of six. And it's small enough that you don't get bullying and big enough to get them used to being in a group. I try to group them up then maybe into 12s before they leave. I also introduce them to the meal that they will get before they leave. I like having the boards at the front and the drinkers at the front. All I have to do is look over and check them and they're easier to clean out. You don't have to go all the way into the pen. I like that I don't have drips on my calves and I like that plenty of light and there's good air space, good drainage and I like having the drinkers to the front. The raised passageway that it can stay dry all the time and clean. It's easier to pick out of a group of six anybody that's on well. Little snags, my passageway wasn't put in high enough. Dividing gates, again, maybe not swung high enough. Sometimes the straw gets too high that I can't pull them around. More homework should have been done on the external weather and how it would affect within the house given our site and the implications of whether we should have maybe have done more homework towards a fan from the start and, and worked it out that way rather than having to go and put it in afterwards. David has found heifers now coming into the parlour are performing better than they had in the past. It is being seen in the parlour, the input at this end, getting that kilo a day live weight gain at this age is proving beneficial in the parlour. It has definitely been a good investment. The previous house, big chunk of that bill was contributed to the calves. Now, if I have one or two bottles in my cupboard just for wee minor issues, that's how I like to keep it. Calves are just the sort of calves I want to rear. They're happy, healthy, most of the time they're shining. I'm just content in what I'm doing now in this house.